Hey guys, uh, my name is Jack and I'm here today to show you, to tell you my personal choice of top 5 Linux distros with my experience with Linux that I've had. Well, let's jump straight into it and this is in no to your order and my first one is Zorin OS. When I first came over from um, Windows, this was uh, the second I used and to tell you the truth it's probably up there in probably second spot of one of my favorites it, it's fast it's easy to navigate it's got great software that comes already installed on it and it runs very fast on an older laptop which I have um, it's very easy to install it's easy to find um, support on things that you need and all the, probably the thing I'm, I'm like most about it is um, just its look and the way just its overall design take a look at the tour see its main adventure, advantages there is pretty much all Windows software runs on this using things like Wine and it's much faster than Windows 7 and it's got lots of security which is a big thing they push and it's a very familiar desktop for people coming over from Windows which is what they target um, it's based on it's based on Ubuntu, so as you can see it uses their software center. Nearly every file that uses your current operating system will work in Zorin OS with no need for additional setup, which is very, very good. Uh, and the accessibility there, so that's Zorin OS. That's one of my favorite. Second, as probably on a lot of people's, is Ubuntu. Um, as you can see, Ubuntu is what I'm using now. It's not the fastest but it's the easiest to use it's my favorite at the moment and probably the one that runs the best on my laptop um, it has great software I love the software center you can pretty much get everything you need from it um, great support and we can get up here no. um, yeah and pretty much every app that I've needed to use on Ubuntu has been there in the software center ready to use um, this also includes pretty much every other version like Zubuntu and Lubuntu and Kubuntu I've pretty much tried them all um, but this had to have to be the best one that I've used okay so the third is Fuduntu um, a lot of people probably haven't heard of Fuduntu it's a pretty small distribution and what it is, it is um, a cross between Ubuntu and Fedora. Um, it's very fast. It I probably I did use it for probably about oh probably between three and four months. And in the time I used it, I enjoyed it, but it just didn't have as much support on things and as much. Um, there wasn't as much software to use um, as you can see it does it doesn't come with like Firefox like it normally would on like Ubuntu or something it comes with Chromium and came with DLC so that was an added bonus as well but it's a great great distro but just wasn't for me but I still loved it and fourth on our list is of course Fedora um, great Great destroyer, you used it for about, um, I think it was like six or seven months. As you can see, you need a 64 bit processor, gig of RAM, and 10 gig storage. And it is really just a great destroyer to use overall. You can see 100% free and open source, thousands of apps, which it does, has viruses, by way free. It's, it's very powerful, can do a lot more things than Windows can. Collaborating features, it comes with evolution, um, pretty much everything you need for the internet, lots of media stuff, creativity, GIMP and Scribus, simple scan. It's office, it comes with uh, LibreOffice, like most distros do, and just your desktop basics, and it uses the GNOME 3. I think it is, and it's very nice. I love it. And that's Fedora. And the fifth 
um, with my personal. F don't do that. So basically, the last one on my list is Linux Mint. Um, it is a great distribution. It's um, fast. It's easy to navigate around. It's easy to pretty much pick up if you've never used a distro like it. You can see it's taking a while to load. There's a couple of different versions of it. There's a um, XFCE version of it. There's a GNOME version of it, and the new one. I'm pretty much pretty sure it was just released. Um, was the cinnamon version? So it uses the Mate desktop, and they just released really the cinnamon version. And they also have a KDE one. But um, I've only used the XFCE one and I loved it. I used it for probably only a month or two. But that was great and I loved it all. And I do believe they just released the alpha for Linux Mint 14, so I will be bringing a review on that when it comes out. So, as you can see, that's my top five Linux distributions. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel for more Linux news.